Hi, and welcome to One Acadiana's Candidate Conversation Series. I'm Keely McGiveney, and this is Andre Bro here on the team at One Acadiana. We're bringing you candidate conversations so you can get to know more about candidates running to represent you in offices across Lafayette Parish. That's right. And for this conversation, we're joined by Sydney Morales, candidate for Lafayette Parish Council, District 2. Sydney, thank you for joining us. My pleasure. Glad to be here with Juan Acadiana, and thank you for all you're doing for our parish. Well, let's start by getting to know you. Tell us a little bit about yourself and your background in the community. Yes. Uh, well, I am born and raised in Puerto Rico, the beautiful island of Puerto Rico, but I joined the U.S. Army, and uh, and it was serving the U.S. Army that I got uh, transferred to uh, Louisiana, and I um, in 2000, I moved to Lafayette to uh, plant a Christian church, still functioning and thriving, I should say, uh, South in South College Road, uh, Lafayette, 605 South College Road. And um, right now, my role there is a, an overseer, a mentor. Uh, there are a team of pastors that take care of that. And uh, But uh, Lafayette has been home for the last 23 years. Uh, 11 years ago, we decided to uh, start a business, um, tax preparations, notary services, in life and health insurance, uh, interpretation in court and also in the hospitals, uh, English to Spanish and vice versa. And, um, and I am also a, a certified business coach with the John Maxwell Network. Great. Well, thank you for sharing. And I think it's it's a great way to start. And then to lead into our next question, what inspired you to run for the parish council? Why parish council? Yes. Well, uh, uh, my my district, uh, my parish councilman, uh, Kevin Knocking, he is term limited. So uh, so the uh, the seat is vacant. I've been praying and considering uh, uh, running for for office uh, because out of a sense of duty. Uh, I have been um, a servant leader for the last 23 years here in Lafayette. Um, and we, we, we understand that this democracy is not only about having privileges, but, but it is also a republic. And, uh, and there is a citizens, citizenry, uh, there is a sense of duty. So we feel that, uh, that this, is, this is our time to be able to, to serve in this capacity. Uh, we believe Lafayette Parish is uh, is leading in many areas uh, in, in our state and that uh, really our destiny is to become a model and an example for the rest of the state. And to do that, uh, you would have a lot on your plate uh, as a parish councilman. Are there any specific near-term priorities that you would set for your first term? Yes, well, I will continue to support uh, the efforts uh, of, of uh, the drainage issues uh, that uh, we, ha we have made a lot of progress. Uh, there is an issue that is in my heart. Uh, the previous administration, not the current, but the previous one, uh, cut excessively uh, the funds for ru rural fire protection. Uh, uh, that caused uh, in our district, in my district, that caused uh, the uh, basically no money to be able to hire anybody uh, in our fire departments for the uh, unincorporated areas. That is big in my heart. I believe that uh, that a, a a great parish should have uh, those services. Government should uh, so be excellent in providing safety and security, roads and drainage. So uh, particularly uh, refunding at least bringing it back to what it was 12 years ago uh, would be my initial goal for the uh, rural fire departments. Well, great. And and looking to the future, as you think of your district and the parish council for years to come, are there long-term challenges you believe the parish council needs to focus on? I I believe that uh, that the biggest challenge is to, to put politics aside. I do not come from a... a, 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 a from a family of politicians. This is my first time uh, running for office. Uh, one of the hardest thing, I started campaigning in January. One of the hardest thing for me, Kelly and Andrea, is when people say, uh, uh, how is the life as a politician? I'm like, ah. <laughs> it's, it's, it's not a term that I'm 
uh, that 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 I uh, that I haven't embraced yet because I believe that if we approach, uh, if we have a common sense approach, if we look, uh, if we have a clear vision, common sense approach, we are going to be able to do a lot of things because Lafayette Parish has all the resources and all the dynamics in place for us to be able to build momentum. And so uh, for me, uh, I think what one of the biggest hindrances is when politics and special interests get in the way to making the obvious common sense decisions to move our parish forward. Well, you're someone who moved into the parish and found home here in Lafayette Parish. If you were talking to a family that was considering moving into Lafayette Parish and making a home here for themselves, what would you tell them about Lafayette? Oh, absolutely. I would I would tell them that Lafayette is a place where we have a good economy, we have good jobs, uh, we have good schools, uh, we have low crime, but above everything, uh, we have great people. Uh, when we moved, uh, we fell in love with the culture. The, uh, the Cajun culture, the, the Creole culture is very similar uh, to our culture. Uh, um, as, as Hispanic Americans, we are, uh, we are very friendly. We love music. We love food. We love we love parties. We love uh, um, uh, we 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 have a sense of community, and we have that here in Lafayette Parish. Lafayette Parish has the 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 good resources of a big city, but the the uh, the the family town feel, and and I believe that that is what causes us to fall in love with Lafayette Parish. And what I, I would tell anyone, come there, uh, Lafayette Parish, it has the greatest people on earth. Well, you just made a great case for Lafayette Parish. Now make the case for yourself. What would you tell the voters of District 2 about why they should vote for Sydney Morales for Parish Council? Yes. Well, I, I if you are looking for someone that is a servant leader, a proven servant leader, that is qualified to deal with budget uh, as a tax professional, as an insurance producer. I am qualified to deal with uh, with budget and with different uh, financial issues. But if you want someone who is a fighter, I am a decorated combat veteran. I fight for good. I fight for families. I will fight for a better future. And if you want just someone that uh, that does that is not tied to special interests, that is just coming from a neutral approach, what is best for the people of Lafayette and the family of Lafayette? I'm your guy. I'm your fighter. Well, thank you. And, and we really appreciate the time here today helping the community get to know you. And on that note, our last question is, how can a voter, how can voters further engage with you? How can they get more information on Sydney? Yes, we have a website, uh, votesydneymorales.com. Uh, there we have a, uh, an area where you can support us. There are different ways to support us uh, financially. If you want a jar sign, we have those available. Um, also volunteering. Uh, we are knocking on doors and, um, and just visiting with folks and sharing our vision and passion for Lafayette Parish. And we also in Facebook, uh, if you go to facebook.com forward slash vote Sydney Morales, you will find um, uh, a lot that we've been doing in since January with our campaign. And we have a featured video that uh, is our official announcement to, to run. Please, I invite you to go uh, to our Facebook page. Again, Vote Sydney Morales, Facebook or our website, and you are going to be able to uh, uh, get more information about us, our priorities, and, 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 and how to engage. We need the help. So uh, uh, so please go visit us. All right. That was Sidney Morales joining us. He's a candidate for Lafayette Parish Council District 2. Sidney, thank you again for joining us today. Thank you for your time and good luck in the fall. You're welcome. Uh, and thank you, Keely and Andrea, for giving me this opportunity. Um, and, and so we, we, we'll stay in touch. Thank you.